Hi everybody, today we are going to be doing a pre-dry round wrap. Uh, this supports maximum volume and body, ideal for short to medium length hair, removes moisture and speeds up the drying time. Uh, you can refer to your skill cards to follow along with the diagram, but uh, what we do is we section her out around the desired style apart. Um, basically just sectioning everything out, isolating the nape. And you're going to stand directly behind the sections on your dominant side and directly in front of the sections of your non-dominant side. So I've started here in the nape. You want to begin by taking diagonal back sections at the nape on your dominant side. Stand directly behind the sections. Begin by pushing the hair away from you. Uh, work one side uh, at a time until you reach your non-dominant side. Switch your body position. Um, to stand directly in front of the section, you begin to pull the hair toward you on your non-dominant side using diagonal back sections working back toward your dominant side. Again, your focus is just from the base to half of the hair length or what we call the mid-shaft. Again, this is just a pre-dry and we're working down in the nape area. So as you can see, I'm taking these diagonal back sections and working from my dominant side to my dominant side, non-dominant side. And I'm just pushing that hair away from me. I'm not blow drying all the way through until I get to the other side. And then what I'm gonna do is reverse that and switch my body position ever so slightly and start pulling the hair the opposite direction but with the same diagonal forward sections, sort of mirroring the other side that I just did. And again, you don't want to get her too dry. It's just the mid shaft to the base, or base of the mid shaft rather. But as you can see, I'm also using my 413 styling brush here uh, for control mainly. I can get in there and isolate these sections pretty decently. So yeah, all that right in there is good and dry. And now we're about to move on to the rest of the hair. Again, I put her in four standard sections above the parietal, excuse me, above sort of the occipital, halfway through the occipital bone. So what I'm gonna do here is find the desired style part and isolate and work in the nape. And now I'm moving on to the front hairline on my dominant side. And I'm gonna begin at the top of the front of the head Using horizontal sections, I begin by pushing the hair away from myself with a slight upward and forward movement um, to reinforce sort of the round movement. Um, you could continue to work to take horizontal sections and push the hair away from you. Work from the front of the hairline to one section past the center back until you reach the parietal ridge. As you can see, I'm just sort of pushing that hair up and away from me. Again, just base through mid shaft. And this is ideal for volume. So now I'm moving back to this back panel. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Horizontal sections. Pushing that hair forward and up and away. And then after this, as you see, I'm gonna go all the way this uh, through the, just past the center back. And I'm gonna mirror that on the other side. Before I do that, I'm going to, just below the parietal ridge, I'm gonna take diagonal forward sections, stand behind the sections and push the hair with a slight curve and upward movement. And the idea here is to sort of wrap the hair around the head shape. 
just one panel above the head, or above the ear, excuse me. So you see I'm just pushing all this hair up and away, starting to build that volume. She likes this, it's her favorite. She's ready for Friday. Okay, now I'm gonna mirror that on the other side of the air. I'm going to be pulling it sort of with a, I'm kind of not using correct body position, but I wanted to demo so you guys could see. Okay, now that I've knocked out this pre-dry, which eliminates or reduces blow drying time, I've sectioned her out into five sections around the style part, and we're gonna break out this round brush. Now the round brush, uh, some of the benefits is it provides a smooth polished cuticle with volume and soft curl. And you can refer to your skill cards on this here. Page 197 for the diagramming. But I'm gonna start in panel one on my dominant side. And I'm gonna take a small section here for less resistance, it's usually based off texture and density, how big you decide. So what you're gonna do is start at the bottom, panel one, located at the front of your hairline on your dominant side. Use clean sections, smaller than the width of your comb, round brush, depending on texture and density. Um, with heat, detangle and remove excess, mo excess moisture with one or two passes down the section and begin round brushing by focusing on the base, making a couple half turns, three half turns. Then halfway down the hair length, you're gonna do the same thing, three half turns, and then on the ends, three half turns. And then I'm going to repeat until the hair is completely dry and polished. Then I'm gonna wrap it up here next to her hair and hit it with a cool shot sort of cool down the hair and lock in that curl not too long though and as you can see there's a little bit of a curl there i threw some product in also to sort of help from with heat protection i think i used a neuro prime and something else here okay so yeah i'm gonna take another section i moved on to panel two located behind the ear at the massively process on my dominant side. Excuse me, I haven't moved on yet. I moved on to the next section. But I'm gonna demonstrate one more time here. I'm smoothing both sides out of the cuticle with a couple passes before I get in there. And then I'm gonna start working the hair. Here we go. Again, I start at the base and move to the middle taking little turns here, half turn, half turn, half turn, now I get to the bottom, I start really roping it in there. Again, something else to be mindful of, um, for a maximum volume, you want to use elevation between 135 degrees and 180 degrees. Um, sort of to get that on base coral look. I'm sort of using medium volume here, and which is about a 90 degree elevation, which would be a half base coral. And then minimum volume would be sort of a 45 degree elevation resulting in that alf base coral look. But for all of these, I'm hovering around 90 degrees. I try to get up a little bit higher there. So yeah, you wanna repeat and do this up and down the panel. And another thing to keep in, keep uh, be mindful of is that 
You want to try to incorporate a small amount of the hair from the previous panel um, to marry the two panels uh, before I move, like when we move in there, because if not, you can sort of see literally the, the panels in her hair that you blow dried, um, sort of blocked out, gritted out on her head. So you want to grab a little bit of hair in between, sort of match that, but yeah, I'm just chipping away at this panel here. I'm going to pick up the pace and knock it out uh, so you guys sort of get the before and after idea here. Um, I enjoy round brushing. It's fun. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, but once you get good at it, it feels good and your clients love it and you're going to make a ton of money. But I go through one at a time. As you can see, all of these are about 90 degrees. Um, and it's just getting her nice and blown out here. Pick up the pace here, lightning quick, because it's Friday. Again, this isn't perfect body position, but I kind of wanted everyone to see what I was doing with my big belly pointing at her ear right now, but I'm going so fast, I'm burning so many calories. So yeah, there it is. Some uh, 135, 180 degree elevation on that back panel there for a second. But here we go. Just about knocked out. I'm going to hit her fringe here right when I get all this done. Poof that out. And very nice sort of fun look here. Could have done better. But for us and our purposes, I think it worked out pretty good.